All right, good morning, sixth graders. We are at April 30th, and we are going to finish up this packet today. Um, <clears throat> page 8 on page 69 uh, is asking us um, to circle one word that describes Edwin based on evidence from the text. Now, you'll remember who Edwin is. Go, let's go back and look at Dust. This story about um, this young boy um, <clears throat> in the 1930s during the Dust Bowl and the Depression, and it, there was an economic depression during that time, and then there was the environmental disaster of the Dust Bowl. People were out of work, they didn't have money, and Edwin was this boy who lived with his family through this. Okay, so what page 69 is asking you to do is let's pick some words that describe Edwin. Okay, all right, so let's move up to the questions again. Let's see. All right, oh, we, came, we did six and seven. All right, A, B, and C we're going to do. It says circle one word that describes Edwin based on evidence from the text. There is more than one correct choice listed below. All right, so we have to think about his character and what kind of character you think that Edwin had. This first word is thoughtless. And that word means that he didn't care about people, that he didn't think about people. And I don't think that describes Edwin at all. So I don't think that that would be one of them. Okay, he was not thoughtless. He was very thoughtful. He thought about his family. He worried about his family. Uh, he was concerned for his um, sisters. And uh, so he, he wasn't thoughtless. All right, what about observant? Did he notice things? Okay, I think he was pretty observant. I'm going to let you expand on it in your writing, but I'm going to give you some hints. Um, he, when he was in the very first paragraph, uh, milking Nellie the cow, um, he noticed or observed that the blizzard was coming and he got the girls out there, out of the barn and into the home quickly. Okay. So he was very observant of this blizzard coming, this dust blizzard, um, not a snow blizzard. Okay, um, and then he um, got the girls, um, bound them with twine so that they could stay together and not get blown away, um, away from him to, when they were going to the farmhouse. Okay, so I think he was observant. He was also pretty observant when he watched his mom and dad, and he noticed that things were going on and that um, Pa was worried and Ma was worried and he was observant about that. So you could find that part in the text and talk about that. I also think he was observant when um, he saw his mom looking at that picture of the orange grove. Okay, so uh, there are several places in there. And so what you want to do is find one sentence in the passage with details that support your response to part A. Write that sentence on the lines below. So you go back into the passage and find out if you pick this word, we're not finished with the words, but if you choose this word, find out, and we just talked about a few, um, and write a sentence about how Edwin was observant. Okay? All right, so that's one word. Resourceful. Resourceful means that um, he's able to deal with difficulties. And I, I would say that um, Edwin was pretty resourceful. Um, one of the way he was resourceful is what we already talked about in paragraph one, how that dust blizzard was coming, and um, it was such a strong wind. And he couldn't even see the house because of the uh, blackness of the wind. Um, 
And then what he did was he grabbed some twine, tying, tied one around each girl's waist, and then tied the two girls together. And then he took Annie's hand and instructed her to hold on to Jewel. And then he navigated them back to the house. So that's one way of dealing with a difficult situation. He knew that they probably wouldn't all make it if they just took a run from the barn to the house. The wind was way too strong. Okay, um, let's see if there's another place he might have been resourceful. All right, you can see in paragraph nine where Edwin says he wishes there was something he could do to assist his family. Okay, so um, then he spots that advertisement and sees the orange grove and he takes it with him because he's starting to think about these things. What can he do to help the family? Okay, and another way he was resourceful is when he went and uh, gave Nellie, sold Nellie to the Baileys and got $16 so that he could give that to his dad for fuel. So those are some examples, and it's asking you to, whichever word you pick, and we're still not done, you're going to find the sentence in the passage that details the support to support your answer. So you're going to pick one of these um, words. I'm just giving you a hint on a couple, and then you're going to pick one. And then in part B, you're going to find a sentence in the passage with details that support your response, why you picked which word you picked, and uh, how that sentence supports that. And we just talked about some of them. And then part C says find a second sentence in the passage which de with details that support your response to part A. So basically, you are looking for two examples, if you pick observant, two examples from the text about how Edwin was observant or two examples from the text, how he was resourceful. So you don't have to do two for each, you just do two total. Optimistic, um, I, yeah, I think he tried to be optimistic and, and, and look hopeful and cheerful and, and um, hope for things to get better. He was certainly optimistic when he wanted to see his dad come home. Um, let's see, where did he say that he was, um, uh, he said in paragraph three, he was weary of the dust, but he was smiling inside because tomorrow his father was coming home. So to him, um, that meant that things were going to get better because his dad was coming home. So that would be an example of how he was optimistic. Um, and also, um, you um, could also even use where he um, used the, gave the $16 to his dad for the um, gas. Okay. And um, optimistic also that he knew that Nellie the cow was going to be taken care of by when he gave them to the Baileys. So I think you've got some choices there if you choose that word. Timid means shy. I don't think, unless you can find some ways in there that he was shy, I don't think he was very shy. So I'm going to say um, no to that one. Um, and then how about stubborn? Well, if he was stubborn, he was stubborn in a good way. Um, but I, I think if you go with one of these three, I think you'll definitely be able to find examples where he was observant, resourceful, or optimistic. And I think you'll be able to find at least two sentences in the passage that explains that or supports that, whichever word you pick. You don't have to do it for all three. You pick one word, write one sentence here that supports it and one sentence in part C that supports it. That's it on that. All right. All right. Let me move this up now. All right. Now we're going to practice on a performance task 
extended response. You see these on the I step or the I learn, and it's where you write a two or three paragraph essay instead of just one short answer. All right, so actually number eight, um, you're gonna use part of number eight to help you with this. It says, what inference can you make about Edwin's character based on his actions in the story? Well, what did you pick for his char a character trait of Edwin in number eight? And that's basically what you're going to write there, but you're going to support it with even more evidence from the text, okay? Um, you can tell what e events and details happened that caused Edwin to have that character trait, okay? Uh, and you might come with up with some others. You might uh, say um, Edwin was kind. Oops. There's, there's a lot of different character traits that you can use. Whatever you think Edwin was, Edwin was kind. Edwin was a good son and brother. Um, Edwin, uh, let's look back here a minute. Um, you might say that he was responsible. He was responsible enough to be trusted to go into town when dad sent him in town to get some supplies. I believe he got some beans and flour. So he was responsible. So it's really whatever you think, what your impression of Edwin is. And then you're going to write what you think, what inferences that you can make, what you can say about his character and support it with evidence from the text. And you guys uh, know how to do this, and you want to take your time and write complete sentences with correct punctuation. Check your writing for correct spelling, grammar, capitalization, and punctuation. So it says here, what inferences can you make about Edwin's character based on his actions in the story? What events and details from the text helped you make those inferences? Write an essay of two or three paragraphs explaining your answer. In your answer, be sure to explain what inferences you made about Edwin while reading the story. So for instance, you could say, I feel that Edwin is and pick a character because the author shows this by and tell how the author showed that in support of that character trait. Explain what events and details from the text support your inferences and cite evidence from the story in your answer. Well, we talked about a lot of these, so I think you'll do fine um, just uh, remembering what we talked about. If you need to go back and look through the story or ask someone to read it to you, and if that will help you, that would be great. Or you could go back to my video where I read it and listen to it again. All right, guys, that is it for this packet. This will take you a little bit of time. So good luck with, you, with this and um, have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you on Tuesday. And I believe that will be May. It will. All right. See ya. Bye.